that's no apologies on the mic, and any time that you apologize, you have to say, I love myself! Uh, I love myself! Uh -huh. I love <laughs> Change don't mold we bread like me. Trying to rest easy, get some paint on a bleasy. Lone star shooting across the sky, that's me. Coop dreams and hoop dreams never thrilled me. 
but I got a nightmare of standing outside a gallery filled with someone else's work. If I can just find something to create. Self-mandated deadlines, curating a pointless show. You never know, maybe somebody will see your shit. Cover their meditation space with your canvases. I always finish mine with a little bit of light. Maybe vibrate the earth a little closer to the light. That's the plan, and I just might. Pack tigers out like my pupil be gold. James Bond. Bullets tend to love black skin, so I use my blood to tint the apples of her cheeks and the pinks in his lips. Acrylics hugging my fingertips, I hope the world can see. Even though it loves turning his back on me, it's cool, I don't need your air to breathe. Little black boy from the D, thank the universe for my first book of poetry. Gave me place to hide the things no good for me. Using pen and paintbrush to dig up the old hatches so they can truly be released. My yard needs some room for my blessed tree. I'm trying to get my mama something, make sure my brothers make it challenging. Everything they know about us stereotypically, young nigga be free. They're so much like me, so I have to prove that there's proof. You don't need the debt of an uneducated degree, or the praise of society. Sing of their disapproval, tattoo your ambiguity, shake your wings loose of their tethering. Most importantly, my baby, fuck their insecurities about you. Mm. Yes! Speak poet! <laughs> oh, I love that. Drop the motherfucking flames for Ryan Isaac. Thank you for that little peek into your story, yeah, too. Do you wanna, you wanna delve into like a little bit of what you're talking about there? Um, yeah, I like, well, I, I grew up, it was just me, my mom, and my little brothers, you know? <laughs> and I think a lot of creatives, like that, that process starts when you're a child. Know, with the things you go through and that's, I feel like that's a lot of pressure for parents because you feel like you need to get it right but we're brought here with intention that was set before you even laid down you know so it's like I had to kind of figure that out for myself going through things with my childhood and like going through things with my mom and then my little brothers come and you just see so much of yourself in them and I see so much of them in me and it just became like a a, a real foundation for my creativity and, and they support me so much that it's like you can be free like let yourself free of all these expectations of, that the world puts yes. on you for being like a black man being queer like there's so many pressures of getting it right and you don't have to like you're right in, in every way shape or form and that, that poem just kind of talks about my struggle with wanting to be or uh, have the expectations but not wanting them you know and wanting to be myself but also wanting to be this perfect image that presents something to the world but i am the perfect image and i should just let my perfect image do what the fuck it came here to do you know yes so, yeah hey thank you so much for <laughs> yeah, sharing course. that that was beautiful and beautifully yeah. explained as well uh, that's one thing that I've learned so much of just in this scene alone in the last mm -hmm. couple of years is just that acceptance. Yeah. To finally, I felt like I'm, I've become myself in the last two years. Yeah. Out of 30 years of living. That's kind of crazy, <laughs> well, you know? Like yeah. to wake up one day and realize, oh shit, um, I'm not happy doing this same shit over and over and over mm -hmm. again. That's not helping me grow. I've been in this. I've been the same person for years, and this isn't who I want to yeah. be anymore. Yeah. So kudos to you, and thank you so much for yeah. writing that shit down and immortalizing this lesson. Yeah, you know? exactly, this overall. And I feel like it's a lesson that's continuous. Um, oh, yeah, it always takes more form. Yeah, yeah. Every time you think you know a little bit, it's like, oh, fuck, I can't believe how much I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know shit. I, know, I, didn't, I didn't know shit. Like, yeah, so, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Uh, also, shout out to my ice cream man again because hey, he's he loves it. Yeah, I he's love jamming. it. That sounds like I'm talking about my mom and my brother's Dude, ice cream man. That needs to be the snaps, um, the snaps. What do you call it? Intro theme. music. Yeah. Intro music. We're gonna do like a fucking ice cream track. Hey, shit. You hear the ice cream man? You know snaps is in the hey, back. That's snaps. how you know. <laughs> uh, so. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Taking it back to Ooh. a serious tone. So 
tell me a little bit about like what projects you got going on right now. Uh, right now I'm really just trying to get my website together. <laughs> you oh, know, aren't we all? That, that goddamn website. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just hey. living over you like a dark cloud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and hey. now we're in quarantine, so there's no excuse. But like, why that, don't you have the website ready yet? <laughs> like, because it's hard. Okay, like this. I don't have enough pictures. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, my computer's slow. So yeah. Do you know how much memory that shit takes? You guys, yeah, even just doing like videos. Like to this. refresh. Like, page like it's it's bananas but yeah that's the one thing that i'm really trying to just work on um i make jewelry too so i'm just been, like, i noticed you're beautiful did you make these i did these bangles mm -hmm. oh my gosh i have to zoom in on this because i just have to it's beautiful and you guys need to see her right fuck drip yo ultra drip though is that amethyst okay, oh, this right? is amethyst genesis quartz is this one piece? The, oh, no, no. Okay, so that's a little... They're two pieces, yeah. Yeah, it's a packed bowl here. Oh, yes. Let's, let's do that. Yeah, let's, do, let's take a smoke break, y'all. Smoke, smoke break. break. Smoke break. <laughs> and if you haven't had water today, drink some up Please get water. Please get your fucking water. Where's my water? I'm like over here. Wait. Um, water? What's that? What? Water? Water. <laughs> I come here for the liquor. <laughs> what the liquor? Liquor in the front, poke in the back. Hey! <laughs> so we're gonna use the ice cream truck for the theme music. And then we gotta get like a jingle for the smoking. Oh no, no, go ahead, because I already hit it a couple Same. times. Same. <laughs> okay, I came into this shit fucking lit. So hope you guys are in for a fun ride okay. because this is Wordgasm <laughs> episode two. <laughs> I do have some stuff on Spotify, it's very little. Is it Ryan Isaac? Yes. So yeah. Ryan Isaac, that's R I A N I Z K. Check him out on Spotify. Follow yes. him. The Get the local streams up, y'all. The first poem I did is actually on Spotify. We got some spoken word. Yeah. Uh, do you do you have more uh, musical pieces? I do. It just adds such a dynamic. Uh, I'm and the like, host. Yeah, it yeah. really does. It just <laughs> brings you into another world. Yes. And like your wordplay, mm -hmm. just like following the, the rhythm of it. Yes, and that's and why I love to write to music because of like, especially like lo-fi or instrumentals just because it allows me to get into a trance. Yeah. Especially if there's got a lot of like boom cats and 808s, like I can get into this rhythmic place of writing. And it helps me timing wise to be able to stop a song and then go back to that last bar and and flow into the next. Um, this one I actually wrote right after my band stopped, so it has a little bit of singing in it. Ooh. Uh, I think Doja Cat might have done a, a song to this one too. It's called, it's by Dream Koala, We Can't Be Friends, but the name of the piece is called Tell Me. Okay, so you guys are hearing it here. Snaps open mic, tell me. Tell me. Oh, I like it already. Mm -hmm. Sounds dreamy. T -t -t 
Time your motion synergy. Breathy curses poetry. No, baby, you can't be my only thing. Hey, text message reads. Hey, I'm outside. <laughs> you've been texting, you've been calling, sitting here. Come over, so come over tonight. I, 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 I ain't doing nothing that night. You, 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 you can come through the night. Hey. You've been texting, you've been calling, say you wanna come over, so come over tonight. I, 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 I ain't doing shit tonight. You, 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 you can come through. your wordgasm piece? So. Um, that was the one before this. The one. Before, okay. okay. Yeah, so. that was the word. Oh, so you just be, and he told me to you, it's like, oh, I write a lot of sexual, <laughs> I use a lot of sexual innuendo in yeah. my writing as well. I and did. I was like, well, then you're going to do fine you're here. You're perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Words of encouragement right, right. there. Yes, That's exactly. A... <laughs> um, so do you have one more piece before we can get into the, um, the yeah. challenge? Yeah, let's see what you got. Okay, so, so we're... Hey y'all, how you doing? Hey, we got some flames over here for Ryan Isaac. Okay, cool, yeah. So we're running a little behind, but not no biggie. And I'm so glad. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for having me. This has been amazing. It has been cool. <laughs> it's always great just like connecting with people yeah. and just seeing the support of the community too, you That's know, like community. especially now. Right. I think people are I know for me, I don't know about y'all, but mm. I've been feeling restless as a motherfucker. Facts. And I'm like, <laughs> someone was telling me, um, oh, you know, like, do you think that this is gonna carry out into like next year? I was like, next year? I was like, this better not carry out to June. Right. Like, I'm, I'm on a revolt. <laughs> I need my summer. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I'm trying to get a vacation so, in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to go somewhere. Right. Sand and sun and water. <laughs> For tuning in and sharing some love for our fellow local artists, yeah. fellow Las Vegas transplant from the D, Ryan Isaac, sharing his word mastery for all of your listening pleasures. Um, you guys are in for a treat. Hang tight. Um, Ryan's got another piece, and then we're going to do a fun wordgasm theme challenge yeah. pot dos. Yes. I'll do a quick one. I'll do yeah, a quick one so it, we can jump right into it's, it. It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. Take your time because I still have to write all the fucking words. Uh-oh. Okay. Ah. Um, so I guess I'll just give you some time. I was, uh, my little brother had a, a traumatic brain injury maybe three years oh. ago. So, and he's always been like this very, he's a Gemini. So he's like got this very magnanimous personality that is unmistakable. Mm, shout out Gemini. Uh, I love a Gemini. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Cause I get enough fun. <laughs> My brother and my sister are Gemini. Yeah. Oh. See. I, I have loved. I have loved Gemini's for a very long time. What's your sign? I'm a Scorpio. Okay. Yeah. Scorpio. So we don't really get along. They, they evaporate my watery emotions. Damn. That's funny. <laughs> my mom's a Scorpio, and oh, my really? little brother's a Gemini, and uh, I'm a Scorpio rising. So mm. it, it was a very interesting household. When's your birthday? <laughs> January 29th. Oh, okay. Yes. So you're a, um, wait, 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 don't tell me, you're a, an Aquarius? Yep. Yes, okay. Yeah. My best friend's an Aquarius. Shout out Steph That's Norco, us. a.k.a. We Steph know. Stewart. We be knowing. <laughs> um, but this one I wrote for him, right, right after he came out of his coma, um, just because I was thinking about how much energy he actually has, and to see him in this, like, uh, for lack of better words, vegetative state, like, it was just very hard to process. Um, so I wanted to write a poem to help him remember who he is and help for me to have him in a piece that I can still feel his energy. So this one's called Gemini, Gemini Sky. I'm going to read it so I don't get emotional. <laughs> um, under a Gemini sun, you introduced yourselves. 
Wild like flowers pushed up against forest trees, like honeybees in summer heat, anxious for something only you can sense, a fire prince. I learned from him, wrote about him after writing him off. Even in a 95 Toyota, you made it your chariot, small and new. Moving your feet in the chair seat like you were running from something, from us or the world. Either way, I saw your effect. My brother, rebellion in his lungs and thunder in his lips. I looked up to him despite the years I had. He wore all his previous lives like second skin, gloves painted in experiences, used them to open closet doors and windows. My brother, the fire prince, I wish you saw yourself. Black boy fly from head to toe, but I guess you're too busy seeing the world from the peaks of Arizona. Who am I to say you ain't fly enough? Mm. Hey. Shout out. To, yesterday was National Sibling Day, too, so oh, shout out to everybody <laughs> and their sibling. Divine. Divine. <laughs> Absolutely divine. Yeah. I love that. So, so. Did that help strengthen your relationship with him at all? Uh, yes. Well, it's funny because he, he's still recovering from it, but it, he's mentally there. It's just his body doesn't respond to his mind. So I still have these interesting, um, nostalgic interactions with him, even though he's maybe not being very vocal. I'm still having this, like, intense relationship with him yeah, without words. Exchange. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's very much interesting mm -hmm. to experience him in that way, but he's still very much there energetically. So it, it did help strengthen, it helped me heal and be stronger for my family and not be so fucking emotional about it. Like just give my emotions a place and then be strong for them when, when necessary, so. Uh, so yeah. how's your relationship with your family? Great, Girl. well. I, you well, sound like you're like me, like you come from a big ass family and you guys <laughs> are just a like, click. You're just like, hey. Yeah, cheer. Yeah, that's funny. Family gang, family <laughs> gang, gang. Gang, 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 gang. 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 Um, no, I don't. I come from a small family. It, well, it's just me, my mom, and my little brothers. And oh. it's been that way for a while. Um, we have other family, but what's interesting is we, um, our family tends to pull people in. So we have a lot of people that become family. Yes! Oh my gosh! Hey, yeah. shout out to the Las Vegas art community. Yes. That's what you guys were to me. Family. Um, let's see what, we got some, we got some. What they say? Oh, hey, Auntie Reese. Hey, Caster. So Instagram's mama is a hoe and the video cut out. No! <laughs> what? <laughs> I could have told you that about Instagram's mama. Ooh, uh, so she oh my she been around. Oh, oh. She ain't no oh, runaway oh. girl, but she a little okay, black bit of. Uh, Insta mama. Skill. <laughs> Hermes was the only god who could visit Hades. Ooh, thank you for mm. that. It's an inside scoop. Yeah. You know, I have always, the, my closest sibling to me is definitely my sister Boo. I mean, sorry, Cielo. She's awesome. Check her out. She's an amazing artist, illustrator, yes. and tattoo artist. She does all my work now, it's moving fire. forward. Did you come from artists? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I did. I, like, my mom's a poet. Um, oh, beautiful. My sister is a writer. Shout out to my sister, Jem. Uh, mom is always right media. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and it's right, W-R-I-T-E. Yes, it yeah. is. <laughs> I love it, though. Um, Gemini Moon. Oh, nice. Them damn Scorpios. Hey. Don't Yo, for Scorpio real. Like that. Hey, Scorpio hate me. <laughs> for real. <laughs> you see all of us, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> all right. Cool, cool. All right. So we're going to get into our challenge. Um, <laughs> So what we're gonna do, and I need to get a bowl Ooh. really quick, not a smoking bowl. Oh well, oh. But in a that bowl case. Bowl. <laughs> I love that the show I is traveling. Like smoking. that's kind of dope. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh no. Well, we're gonna try. I uh, pause is recording it, so just stay tuned. We're gonna post the recap just like we did with Jen from Japan. Um, so, let's see what we got here. So, we're going to, let me see. Is okay? Okay, perfect. So, you're going to pick one. Mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. going to give you a piece of paper so you can write as well as a pen. Okay. And I will grab a pen for myself as well. Bam. Um, so, what we have here is a bowl. Mm -hmm. That's a bowl. It's a bowl. And in this bowl are some random ass words. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to do the same thing that we did last week, which if you guys did not catch that, please peep our um, YouTube, which has a little 
a little montage of what we had going on last week for the Wordgasm episode one, which is Jen, that Jen from Japan. She was fire. Right? Oh I my love, gosh. I love her. You, I love poets that like do poems from their like gooch. Like when they just <laughs> from like, their gooch. It, it I thought you were going to say gut. You said gooch. No, yes. from the gooch. Wait, like what's a poem. gooch? I didn't. A gooch is like I'm behind. Right between. The and the you know like right underneath. It's underneath. like on the team. Wait, yeah. wait, point to it. I need to see. <laughs> it's like right. Like, no. so, okay, that's the lady. I'm sorry. Mom. All right, so pick a random word, and okay. then you're gonna have to say this word in an orgasm tone. Um, I will also pick a word, and then we. I'm mixing it up this week. I am challenging Ryan to write a quick, a short little poem about whatever this is oh, shit. in a sexy way. Or a wordgasmic way, let's okay. say. So it gives you a little bit more leeway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't necessarily have to be sexy. Okay. Okay, so... I've been watching a lot of um, Survivor lately, so I'm like... I need... A we have to, like, listen for what it is. Yes, okay. Let me see. <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow! I already know it's something okay. nasty. What is it? Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, what's that movie where she's at the table and she's having an orgasm? Uh, which one? It's where she's on a date and she's faking an orgasm at the table in the middle of the restaurant. I have not seen this, but I, if someone... Meg like, Ryan! Meg Ryan. Oh, okay, nice. I have no idea what movie That's what this reminds me of. Okay. <laughs> Dope. Okay, my word. That's foreplay right yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, polite. <laughs> <laughs> what? So, oh, I had oh, polite. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. What is that? Know, right? Stop. <laughs> Orgasming is kind of funny to me. The faces yeah. are funny. Like, the whole premise is kind of yeah. funny. Like, oh, I feel all well, right now. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't Did know. Did you come back to reality? It's like, like, oh, yeah. That's true. It's very much like that. When you laugh during sex, and you're like, oh, shit. Like, I'm not on some cloud. <laughs> There's nothing sexier than tossing a, a wipe towel <laughs> 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 Do you want this or do you want, do you want a wet nap? Or, like, what are you? Or you just want to sleep in it. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay with sleeping in it. We can. Oh, All wow. Right. Do you want to raise it? What is an opalite? Opalite is a type of crystal. Really? Oh, I've never heard of that one before. I got to check mm. that out. New shit. New, New shit. shit. So anybody who wants to tune into this, make sure you toss them this live stream. Just hit that little uh, paper airplane down at the bottom of your screen there. And just send that to a bunch of people who you think might share in this beautiful moment of community and togetherness and self-expression. And just loving our damn selves. Let's be honest. <laughs> Shout out to kids, y'all, because they're the future.